People who are cut off from social security benefits often have no other option but to sleep rough on the streets. Learning how to survive on the streets becomes an important skill, one that can mean the difference between life and death. I was living in a boarding house. Um, at that stage I was having issues with alcohol. Uh, I missed a appointment with Stanley um, and was breached. When I approached Centrelink at the time, they said that uh, under no circumstances were they going to uh, relinquish the breach and that uh, I had a non-payment period as they call it for 13 weeks so being a boarding house no money no roof over your head so I sold what I could gave the rest of the stuff away in my tiny little cockroach infested room and went out on the street thank you very much federal government one of the biggest things that affected me was the psychological impact of actually initially becoming homeless, of stepping out the front door of that boarding house with a backpack and a carry bag and that's it, that's all you've got in life, you know, that's all your worldly possessions. It's a real downer, and I spent probably oh, a week pretty drunk, and then um, I sort of realised to myself that I had to get my act together even though I was living on the street. Then in um, late 2008, uh, there was talk of HPLS, um, getting together people that have lived on the street to form street care. So um, I think it was uh, mid-January 2009, street care met for the first time. It's meant that, and in my opinion, I think it's very important that people who have lived on the street have a voice simply because for so many years not only government departments but NGOs as well but government departments at all levels federal, state and local area governments such as councils they've always known what's right for homeless people but they've never asked them and I always found that really strange until I got to know some of the people in government departments and they said well what would homeless people know we can go out and talk to homeless people get their reaction on a certain subject take it back discuss it amongst street care and then put proposals forward and whether the government listens to it or not, at least we're giving them a truthful opinion of what people think about a certain subject, you know.